95% of sales are lost because the salesman speaks too quickly. Yeah, I had a question. Um, yeah, so I saw your onboarding videos and I talked about the slow onboarding and I kind of yeah. just had a question about what exactly that kind of looks like. You said it was four steps. And from my understanding, it was more like you just sold them the done or do it yourself Facebook ads and then you try to upsell them on like certain stuff. And uh, I was kind of thinking like, what if they like want it all like off the rip, you know, like if they want automations with it and they want all this stuff with it, like how would I upsell them if they already know that they want automation and stuff, you know, maybe just explain maybe like a little bit more about like that slow onboarding process. Mm. And um, Well, the number you know, one like, rule of, of selling is ask people what they want to sell you, what, what you want them to sell you and then sell them that thing. Right. Just to make it as basic as possible. I had a call, a, a sales call with a guy yesterday. And whenever we bring people on with a webinar or with a VSL or anything, we always start off with one thing that we're selling, which is our DIY ads. Okay. But in this case, the guy came on, he'd seen a bunch of my stuff on my YouTube channel, yada, yada, yada. And he goes, I think I just want you guys to do it for me. So we didn't talk about DIY ads at all. And I just sold, I asked him what he wanted. And I'm doing a, a video next week about how to do a demo call. But the whole thing is just get clear on what they want. Right. So your number one question was, how do you, uh, what do you do if they want to buy everything? You sell them everything. Right. That's if, if that's what they want. And I think just to like, make sure you don't step on a landmine with this before you actually, if don't just assume that they want everything, that first discovery phase, ask them questions, ask them what it would mean if they had that thing, like really deep dive that thing and make sure you're incredibly clear on what they want before you sell it to them. 95% of sales are lost because the salesman speaks too quickly. All right, so that's number one. And then my slow onboarding process. So my slow onboarding process is a reverse engineering of the value ladder, okay? And here, here's, here's the basic premise. If um, <laughs> the thing I always use uh, is, uh, is if you go and buy a set of golf clubs, Okay, let's say you don't golf, you go buy a set of golf clubs. You just bought yourself a set of problems is what you bought. Because now what do you have to do? Well, now you got to, you know, pay for a round of golf. Now you got to get lessons because your buddies are like, man, you suck. You can't play golf with us. Now you got to buy drinks when you go out with your buddies. And, you know, you're like, hey, man, you suck. So now you got to buy the drink, whatever. So now you just bought all of these problems. Okay. And so your job as a business person is to anticipate the next problem. All right. Or engineer the first problem, which I love. That's my favorite thing. Okay. So we'll, we'll back up to my slow onboarding process. I bring every, whether it's a webinar or a VSL, I sell everyone DIY ads. Okay. And I sell them in a way where that's the one thing that I want them to buy. Because I know it works. I know it's awesome. And I know it's a fit for everyone. However, as soon as I install DIY ads, what I know is going to happen, I know people are going to, to silo into one of three categories. Number one, they're going to get the ads and they're going to run with them. Their team knows what to do and they're going to have success. They're a DIY customer. That's awesome. Okay. They, they don't need, they still go through the same onboarding process, but there's no upselling needed. I don't try and upsell people if it's not, for money, it's not ethical, right? It's just, hey, you're getting the result. We're good. That's all I care about. Number two, they're not getting the result. And I give them the training. So the scripts, the protocols, the process, the like whatever service they need to get to where the person is that's doing it successfully. Like, hey, you got to have this call time. You got to do this. So my team will do service and help them acquire the skills to nurture leads properly, okay? And at that point, I'm also not upselling them. I'm just delivering. I'm helping them get the result. That way they stay, okay? And then number three is I say, well, not I, and my team says, okay, well, you're getting a bunch of leads. This is great. This is what you need to do. They're like, you know what? We just want you guys to do it. And about, so, about I think Jacob was saying the other day, like about 30% of the people say, you guys just do it. And then we say, great, boom. And it's, and our upsell from there is basically a marketing department in a box. 
you've got your ads coming in, you've got all that cool stuff coming in, a proven app, a library of ads, boom, there you go. And now you plug into our, um, our done for you. And now you've got appointments coming in and you just focus on what you do every day. Did I answer your question? Yeah. Okay. So just, just to make sure. So you're basically just saying, don't offer them. Every, don't even show them. Cause I have different offers. Don't even show them all of it. Just start off with one simple one. And then as they have issues, if they do, they just upsell them. Yeah. That's pretty much uh, my, my buddy, Jason Wardrop said um, the, 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 the path from one to a million is one offer, one sales funnel. And what well, crap was the other thing? <laughs> whatever, but basically just one, one product, one offer, one sales funnel. Right. And so really get good at just one thing. Uh, I, I feel like anytime, whether it's several different audience, people, several different offers, that's what trips up most people just trying to get from $0 to, you know, $10,000 a month is they're trying to sell too many things. Now that could be a product of them not knowing which thing to sell. Okay. So they haven't talked to their audience enough. That's number one, or that could just be the, 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 the biggest temptress of entrepreneurs that plagues everyone, all of you, including me on this call is the BBD bigger, better deal. We're always wanting to like, Oh, well, maybe that's better. No, narrow down, focus, stay disciplined, sell the one thing over and over and over again. That's why when people ask me, like, what do you say? I always sell DIY. I always sell DIY It's the thing that is easiest to sell. If you tell the right stories and it's easiest to give that person. And by the way, it's completely, if you tell somebody, Hey, you've been working with an SMMA for three years. Here's a piece of software. The guy yesterday told me, he goes, that's all it costs. This is too good to be true. What's the catch. Okay. So that's the point. Uh, have one really good initial offer. Clarity is what you want that person. Confusion will kill any conversion you have. Clarity is the key to or to conversion. Okay. Get really clear. All your stories, all of your everything, one clear promise. That's it. Mm -hmm.